The color review today is Benjamin Moore Balboa Mist. And as your room decor color expert, I'm gonna tell you what you need to know about this paint color. And I'm gonna give you some valuable tips that you should follow before deciding to paint this color in your home. So let's go. There are a lot of different ways you can go with a gray paint color. What I mean by this is that every gray paint color has its own unique undertone and every gray paint color has its own personality. And every gray paint color has the potential to change the ambiance of your room. But the question is, is how do you want to feel when you walk into your room? Well, if you want to feel a sense of wealth, or maybe luxury, or something exotic, or perhaps you want it to feel soothing, then maybe Balboa Mist just might be the right paint that you're looking for. So let's take a closer look at Balboa Mist, and let's talk about the color. Right here is Balboa Mist by Benjamin Moore, and I want you to take a quick look at this picture over here. I want you to get an up-close view of what this paint color looks like. Now, watch this. When I compare it with Fossil by Benjamin Moore, look what just happened. There's a little bit of a violet undertone. This is important for a lot of reasons. I'll talk about that in a little bit later on. Now, I get this question a lot. People ask me, is Balboa Mist a dark gray or is it a light gray? Well, I'm gonna show you something. So here we have Balboa Mist, right? And when I compare it with Portland Gray by Benjamin Moore, look what just happened. Balboa Mist is lighter. But when I compare it with Fossil by Benjamin Moore, it is darker than Fossil. And by the way, Fossil is considered a gray. So the bottom line is, it's always important to compare Balboa Mist with the other colors that you may have in your home to truly be able to tell if it's gonna be a lighter or a darker gray. And this is the very reason why you will never ever hear me say any particular paint color is a light or a dark or a medium. So now you know. Next, I'm gonna give you a couple examples on how to pair Balboa Mist with your bathroom countertops and why you need to get this right or else you'll risk from making an expensive mistake. By the way, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I give you valuable information like you're seeing right here in this video. All right, let's get back to it. When it comes to pairing Balboa Mist with your bathroom countertop, it's vital that both the colors and the undertones will relate to one another. So watch this. Let's say that you have a bathroom countertop like this. This is considered an off-white. And notice the streaks in here. They have a little bit of a violet undertone. Watch what happens when I compare it with Balboa Mist. They pair perfectly together. However, for those of you out there that have more of an earthy undertone in your bathroom countertops like this one right here, watch what happens when I compare it with Balboa Mist. The undertones clash. What will happen is Balboa Mist is gonna make this countertop look old and outdated. This is why it's so important to compare Balboa Mist with your bathroom countertops before deciding if this is gonna be the right paint color for your home. If you need help on finding the perfect paint colors for your home and you want it professionally done, then check out the link in the description section down below. I show you how I can help you with any of my online packages regardless where you live in North America. Now, there's one last tip I want to share with you. So let's talk about lighting. I've talked about the undertones of this paint color. I've showed you a couple examples on how to pair Balboa Mist with your bathroom countertops. And now I want to show you what this paint color looks like when it comes to lighting. Let's take a quick look at this picture over here. This is what Balboa Mist looks like in a south facing room that gets lots of natural sunlight. It is one of the palest violet grays that you can get out there. So let's switch this up a little bit. Let's check out this picture right here. This is what Balboa Mist looks like in a north facing room. It's gonna look darker and the violet undertones are gonna be a lot more pronounced. So the bottom line is, is Balboa Mist will work well in both the north and the south facing rooms. 
But remember, it's very important to compare the undertones that you have in both your fixed and furnished items that you may have in your home before deciding if this is really going to be the right paint color for your home. How many of you out there are a fan of gray paint colors? Let me know by typing in yes. But if you're not a fan of gray paint colors, I want to know why. So let me know in the comment section down below. And for all of you out there that want your home to be professionally done with the right paint colors, like I said earlier, feel free to check out the link in the description section down below. Until then, thank you for watching and I will see you next week.